This interview is brought to you by the Pro Fight Shop in Hollywood, Radio Raheem, here with Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Julio, I already know that you believe you won the fight, but when that decision was read, you heard the crowd boo for the first time. They'd never booed you before. Talk to me about that moment and how that felt. No, I don't feel nothing about that, you know, because I know that I'm winning the fight. I connect the, the, best the, the best punches, the power punches, you know. The people expect the knockout. I know that, you know. I broke my, my hand. Don't can uh, no puede regalar la gente el knockout. I couldn't I couldn't give the people the knockout unfortunately. But I feel good, you know. I'm winning the fight and I I have my fight. What round did you break your hand in and how did you know it? Did you know it was broken immediately? Well, I don't know. What well, I don't remember what what round is that? the first first time he he heard better? You you remember? Uh, um fourth Fourth. And the fourth round, you know, I broke my hand in the fourth round. You know. And you knew it was broken right off. I don't know, you know, because I don't, I know, I, I'm not a doctor, you know, but <laughs> I, I, I heard too much, you know. I know uh, something bad happened. Now people say that he was busier, he he controlled the pace, but you landed the hardest shots. When you knew that you had the injury to your hand, what, where did you go in your mind? What was your strategy then? He's, uh, I changed a little bit, you know, because don't control a lot of punches. I think it's because better I have more activity. But you know, you change the the way, you know. You see, uh, I I I heard better uh, uh, like a four or five times in the in the fight and connect the mejores golpes. Now with the change in trainers <clears throat> and losing the conditioning coach, no Freddie Roach, no Ariza, do you think that that affected your ability to make weight at all? No, but no, no, I, I don't think affect me that. You know, maybe. Uh, no, I, I don't think he worked very good with my, my trainers. You know, Luis Cornejo, Vladimir Valdenero have a great, great job, and the condition is good. You know, I'm. Uh, I'm here better in the 10th round. This guy is tired, more tired than me, and I have one year off. Now, we saw that Andre Ward called your fight. People will talk about that possible matchup. Is that something, a, a fight that you'd want? And at 168, would you be comfortable? Yes, I feel I feel more, more uh, what? <laughs> yes, you know, I feel more comfortable in 168. Andre Ward is a great fighter. I like to fight this guy. But I don't know. I talk with my promoters this week, and and wh whatever come, I'm ready. And last question before I let you go. Obviously, Vera wants a rematch. The fans felt the sh fight should have went the other way. Would you rematch Vera if for nothing else than to satisfy the fans? Uh, I'm ready for the rematch. I'm ready for anybody, and whatever happened, I'm ready. Thank you, Julio. I won't shake your hand because I know it's broken. Radio Raheem with Julio Cesar Chavez.